notes? You light up my life? No. <laughs> <laughs> Something awful. Uh, Julia Gerges, uh, is, uh, I'm here with today. Um, you had a fantastic, uh, pretty good start to the season. Um, what do you see yourself uh, doing at the U.S. Open this year? Well, it's the last Grand Slam of the year, and obviously it's the major for us. And um, we try to be, or I'm just trying to be ready for it and um, get as many matches as possible under my belt. And um, that's why I'm here as well. And um, it's great for me getting the opportunity to have some more matches here. And, well, hopefully I will be ready next week. <laughs> Definitely. And um, what do you think so far of the New Haven hard courts? Well, I just got here... Um, almost two days ago so yesterday was my first hit and well the the courts are pretty good I think they're in good shape and um, well the balls are also the same as is every year and um, well I, overall I think it's a great tournament here and for me it's it's great to be here and it's my the second time I think the first time five years ago I was here so it's been a pretty long time but I'm pretty happy that I'm here now since I saw you win the Porsche in Stuttgart <laughs> in uh, 2011 you've had some ups and downs how are you feeling physically at this time um, well, physically, I'm I'm in great shape. I mean, I have my my team all the time around me. We are working pretty hard, and well, body-wise, I'm in a pretty good shape. I have to say, um, just bringing or just need to bring it on the court. And um, well, so far, I had a um, yeah ups and downs in every year of my career so far. But I still went up at the years end, years end ranking every year. But this year, it's it's gonna be tough. I mean, I had a pretty sloppy last three months, and um, well, today was a was a big win for me, and I'm pretty pleased with that um, because it's never easy getting a win under your belt when you had some some tough matches you lost to, and um, well, it's great getting another win, and hopefully, I can keep going. And as far as today, I mean, you broke, you you, you were broken back, you came back. I mean, well, tell me about that resilience. Where do you learn to to never ever throw in the towel? Uh, well, I think you get used to it. I would say you have to, you need to have it in your body and your mind. But um, well, if you do this job, you need to do it a hundred percent with a hundred percent effort, and um, that's how you do it in, in every job, giving your best as you can, and um, well, selling your your body and character as expensive as it can be, and. Um, well, it it never turns out, not always turns out as a win. But um, if you give a, your hundred percent, it's it, there's always a chance you win a match, and that's how it should be. <laughs> now, tell me about your fans. You are wildly popular um, in social media <laughs> in Germany and within the tennis community. Um, what is what do you take away from all that? Well, it's great to have great fans um, behind you and who are supporting you also in rough times and that what it, what it means and it's all about. I mean, you can support someone who is always winning, but you always need to stand behind a player where you're really a fan of when it's going sloppy as well. And that's what my fans are doing. And um, I appreciate it a lot and I'm, I can be proud of them. And um, well, it's nice. I mean, I have only Twitter. I don't have any Facebook, but it's kind of getting connected with them. And um, it's nice to share some thoughts about everything and about your tour life and um, it's just great to give them a little bit feedback and um, well to give them also a little bit back for their support. Sure and I mentioned Germany uh, just tell me about your camaraderie the, the German players seem to have one of the closest bonds in, in the entire WTA don't you agree? Um, well it's great I mean we have now a lot of players in the top 50 and top 100 and it's just great what German tennis has achieved in the past and well we had a lot of um, questions about Steffi and the history and well we never achieved what she has achieved but we try to come as close as we can. I think German German tennis is doing pretty well at the moment. Definitely. In fact, uh, Ms. Carabair yesterday mentioned that uh, the, the butterflies in her stomach when she first met Steffi Graf mm -hmm. just uh, last year. Well, what about you? Have you had a chance? Um, well, I actually played an exhibition two years ago in Halle with her, and um, well, it's kind of a big moment when you meet her and you get to know her. And well, she's she's a legend, but she's a such a relaxed girl and women, and um, it's just amazing when you meet her. She can give you a lot of uh, thoughts and um, just a lot of experience, what she has achieved and what she has really, yeah, got to know in her career. And it's it's just great to share these moments with her. Now it seems that the German players are. Big, big Bundesliga fans. Uh, <laughs> you count yourself as a Bundesliga fan? Yes, I'm definitely one. I'm Bayern Munich fan, a big one. And, um, well, it's been always like that. I think it's been 10 years now since I'm a fan of them. And, um, well, I'm going a little bit crazy with them. And, um, well, it's just nice that they took all three trophies last year home. And, um, well, we can get a, a little bit excited about it. Well, Andrea Petkovic uh, <laughs> told me there's a big, big match coming up on the uh, calendar between Eintracht and uh, Bayern Munich. So, they just uh, played on the last play. week. Yeah, uh, and Bayern won 1-0 uh, in Frankfurt.
uh, Barbara Rittenhauer, she's uh, another big Bayern fan. Yes, no, she's a Dortmund fan. There you go. She's not a Bayern fan, so we always kind of have a rivalry. But, um, well, it's just great when a lot of players have different um, yeah, clubs to, to um, support with. And it's just fun when you can make a little bit jokes here and there. And um, overall, I think also a lot of soccer guys are interested in tennis. So it's kind of a little bit fun when you are interested in Bundesliga and they are interested in your sport. So it's, it's just nice overall. Well, Alf Gates, Julia, good luck. Uh, Thanks. Here and in New York. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank